Hey, what up, you guys? This is Mondo all day, back with another video. This time, I'll be discussing uh, as far as what to do next after you have leveled up to 60. I'm gonna be giving you guys advice on what to do shortly after to level 60, because I've been I've been kind of hearing from a lot of people that um, they don't know what to do once they level up to 60, either that or they're kind of bored or whatnot, or they're kind of lost. Because I know this game can be a little intimidating if you're like a you know first timer or if you're the first time leveling up to 60 it can be a bit of intimidating because there's a lot of things to do so i'll be going over some stuff that i personally do i keep myself busy but also at the same time kind of help me throughout my you know experience of leveling up this character and any other characters as well so in the previous videos i've been showing you how to level up to 60 now that we are here now level 60 what is it to do so just to kind of overview a little bit of the build right now um i started off with a brand new legendary with magic and I did completed story mode to level 60 and then I am at rank 3 as far as a brand new team up and then as you can see team up kind of build up pretty good I did donate some um, uniques that I just picked up so that's why you see a lot of the uniques there but um, I built up a little bit of the pet and then team up I started fresh a little brand new team up I started with you know Firestar when I first started playing with Magic, we're doing story mode, and now we're at level 45. So, again, the purpose of this series is just to show you that how effective the story mode is. And then, if you watch my gameplay, you, you know you have a high probability of leveling up to 60. Now, again, I did not do every objective in every chapter. I just did just some to where I was able to level up and proceed with the next chapter. So now, what to do next? So once you're here now, level 60, what do you do? There's a couple of things you gotta do, but first off though, what you wanna do is start building your character, putting in the right artifacts. So you wanna start, you know, putting in artifacts that are gonna be benefit you as for in terms of your gameplay style. Meaning, uh, the artifacts are gonna help you throughout the way you play and the way you build your character. For instance, Magic here, it does melee and mental, but she also does summon and mental. So in this case, I'm going to use melee. So a lot of my artifacts are either going to be melee related, a little bit of range, maybe one or two, but mo mostly it's going to be melee and mental. Hence why I pick these artifacts, specifically this one, the crossbones, because the only is a benefit, gives you damage to melee powers, but also a bit of rating for her signature and spirit fangs. But everything else is more for melee and mental damage. And same with um, the uniques too, and then obviously the legendary and her ring. Now, what do you do that? So let's just say you level to 60, and then you kind of build your your character, put some artifacts, medallion, um, you, you know, build up a little bit. So what do you do? So the first thing you would do, would do is personally is go here. Let me put my team up away. Go to the crafter. Please make sure your crafter is leveled read. up to 20. But what you want to do is you want to add affixes to the costume. How do you do that simple? So we're here, this is where you do all the custom fixes. You have the offensive and then defensive. Defense is more like health, deflect, defense range, uh, rating. Offense is more of, you know, damage rating, critical damage, and speed, and so forth. But what you want to do is add a fixes first off for offensive. And how do you do that simple? And I'll show you really quick. So um, we're here, this is one of our costumes. Okay. Place it in here and then click craft. And then now this costume, the one I'm looking at, has 135 damage rating, which is enemies targeting you. What you want to do is you want to have critical damage rating, as you can see here. I already did this, I already built this costume, but this is what you want. Critical damage rating. Why? Because this will give you the most most damage. When you do damage to enemies, this will give you the will benefit you the most because it'll do a lot more damage than just any other damage. So what you want to do again is you want to get a fixes, critical damage rating. That is your ultimate goal. Now let's just say you you did that, but your critical damage rating is pretty low. Like this is not that good. If you hit alt, it tells you what percentage, and pre it's pretty low. It's not even that good. So how do you fix that? Simple. Now they, they establish a new the reroll custom effects but the cool thing with this is instead of before you would have to just keep put place it in here and craft keep doing it again and get until you get the one you want but the good thing with this new system now is that instead of doing that if your costume already has give me a second every costume how can I help you already has 
grade 3 critical damage rating but you just want to reroll just that particular critical damage you don't want to redo the whole thing just critical damage rating or you go to this reroll custom fixes place it in here craft there you go on that set you just keep doing it until you find the one that you're looking for so 939 I'll just do one more hopefully in thousands there you go see it was started from eight something to now a thousand so it's a little better it's 80 percent before it was in that I can't remember how far it was but it was pretty low but it's a little better so again the first thing you want to do is do that also to add a costume core so if you go to costume core fix and then what you would do is add the one you want so I already have a costume core for her which gives me plus one energy and then I regenerate 25 percent of my health and spirit when I use a med kit and 1000 defense rating so I already got that taken care of but what you want to do is make sure that the core is level 60 you see where in green it gives you what it, what it offers and slightly above that says result costume equivalent at level 60 you want to make sure your level you get the costume core that's 60 because if you do like a costume core that's 25 you won't get the high ratings of critical damage so make sure you have custom core level 60 what you do is that when you do place it on here place the costume crafted and done that's is that simple all right just let me know what you need so let's just say that so you 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 build your character pretty pretty good artifacts pretty good medallions and so forth but you still have you know uniques and I mean, you still need to build a character like for instance this unique even though it's unique it's grade level 44 all right you see then the bottom this is 69 so if you if you can't tell look at the very top it's an 8.7 uh, percent damage reduction if you keep looking all the way down you'll see right there item grade 44 what you want is when you're level 60 you want to have level grade 63 something like this because when you get a level 63 item grade, you can have, you can level up that costume or the unique, excuse me, that can further enhance your character, and make that character even stronger. So, for example, this is item grade 63. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to level that hello up. There. You go to the gear tab, slot three gear upgrade what this does is it upgrades your unique from 63 to 66 I'll show you so again look at the the health 13 16 and look at what it offers as far as powers I guess it gives you plus two all powers plus five plus four so you get two five four 13 16 health you're gonna see how in how much it increase it, it does 13 16 look at that 15 53 look at that that's 63 now I'm gonna do it again this time level 69 so you upgrade to item grade 66 or unique to 69 do the same thing remember these numbers 265 look at the powers 265 look at that go from 265 to 376 that plus one so that's what you want to do now this is say you donate well I'll proceed with where do you get all that stuff and how do you do that but that's what you want to do first once you level up to 60 make sure that you have the uniques that's appropriate to your character and you level them up make sure they're at least 63 like this one we would need we would definitely need a new unique for this one make sure to be 63 but regardless so this one too 61 you have to have level 63 uniques item grade all right before you proceed to chapter 10 because chapter 10 can be a little tough but again once you get these unique 63 then you can start having fun and start grinding and doing other things so the way the best way to do it to get these uniques is go to the waypoint and go to high town right here high town gives you uniques for your character they give you random uniques but usually they give you uniques for your character and all you have to do is just grind go to high town and just start defeating as many bosses as you can and you'll eventually pick up all the uniques that you want I mean to give you an example I was grinding for for doom look at all the these are all his uniques and it also did for Captain America too for a bit and again these are all uniques and I got all these from Hightown 
So all you have to do is once you level up 60, if you already have the best artifacts that you can at the moment on here and the best uniques, the highest level, go to Hightown and just start playing. Just start grinding until you get the uniques, uniques that you want. And once you get the uniques that you want, then you can start doing other things too. For instance, you can start doing Ultron, which is right here. It's a very good raid. It's a good way for you to kind of test out your build to see, see how your gameplay is and how you build that character and if you feel like that game style and gameplay and that build is meant for you what I don't mean by that is sometimes I've, I've has happened, happened to me before where I've built a certain way and I didn't like it it was very very weak and so I ch we changed it but I kept all the artifacts but we changed the build possibly changed the different uniques because each character has little different ones I mean just show you this is slot one is it a slot one unique for Captain America? So each unique gives you different. It's slightly different depending on the powers you use. It will determine which unique you wanna, you know, you wanna use. So again, um, just really my my suggestion is once you get the uniques you want for your character, go to Ultron, test it out, see how how it goes. If you can survive Ultron and do pretty good, then you know you. You have a good solid foundation but if you're getting demolished and you're not doing any damage at all then something's wrong either one your uniques are all off two then a high enough or maybe the artifacts are three where you place the power points is not correctly so again high town get those uniques once that is going try ultron okay so let's just say you went to high town got your uniques ultron you did good not the best but you can hold your own what do you do next well, there's several things to do. Um, obviously, you can do raids. It was a little more tougher, but you can definitely do raids. X Defense is a very good one. Solo Sims. The raids are very good. Just make sure you're pretty powerful. Um, also, my advice is do these right here challenges. The shared quests. All you do is hit L. Do these challenges. These will give you quite a few Odin marks. And these are very good. And plus, when you do these, you can be in a party and it will help you because. For example, High Tone Patrol, you have to defeat 80 or 80, 800 scroll. That's a lot. So if you, you're in a party, I mean, this 800 will go by so fast. So that's one good way for you to start networking, talking to people, and kind of get into parties and get into more people here. So I would highly recommend doing that. You can share a quest. The next thing to do, I always do it, and I always advise everyone to do it, is do these weekly and daily um missions preferably the weekly because the reward is crucial especially if you want to level up to 69 your uniques you have to get these right here the hero protectors and hero and protector combination the way you go about regarding that to activate this like as far as what to do simple you go to hammer bay and I'll just show you You go to Hammer Bay. Once that, you go over here. You talk to these two. These will give you the missions. And all you have to do is click L and go go where it tells you to do. So for instance, this one told me to go to Midtown. Once I went to Midtown, as you can see here, then it told me I have to destroy, you defeat. my brother against me, Spider-Man. Three hundred elites. An apology may not cover it. And it gives you the hints as to what qualifies as a elite for X-Men. So once you do that, you just keep doing it, and it takes a while, but once you complete that, you get these hero combinations and protection combinations. So what do you do with that? Simple. You go, what you do, and I'll show you really quick, see if I can get one. Huh? Once you get enough hero combination, protection combinations, which are these right here, you go to Odin's Palace. And right here, this is where you would get... The recipe for you to start building your uniques or start leveling up your uniques from item grade 63 to 66 and 69 kind of like I should show you so once you're here go down here talk to this person this is where you will level them up you'll get the recipe just like this you right click right click on it excuse me right click and then I'll show you the recipe right here for instance Right click and then there you go. Then your crafter has learned that recipe. 
in terms of how to level up your items from 63 to 66 and 69. So again, you do have to grind. You do it does take up some time, but I'm telling you, if you if you do these on a regular basis, you know it'll go by so fast. And plus, if you do it with someone else at the same time, like I do with my buddy, my name Air Rose, we play this quite often. I mean, doing you corrupt science and magic to your own selfish whims. Doing the weekly mission kind of goes by fast because we usually get the same things and we just start grinding and hence why we go level up to 69 item grade. So again, kind of reiterate everything. Once you level up 60, go to high town. Go to high town. Start grinding. Get those uniques. Once you get the uniques that's suited for you and your gameplay and your game style and how your build is, go to Ultron. Right here is he at. Go to Ultron. Try it out. See how if it works out. It's pretty good. Perfect. Okay. My advice to you is once you do Ultron, go here and see. Okay, how much it costs, how many heroes and protector points you have, and just that way it gives you a good idea. So now you have that going for you. The next thing I would do is also do is try Cosmic Trial. Now, Cosmic Trial is probably one of the most toughest, uh, I guess you would say tests or quizzes. I don't say quiz, but test. Because it tests out your character like down to the T. It tests out how efficient yeah, like and how sure powerful and things. tests a lot of the DPS since we're damage per second. And so, it's a really good way to figure it out if your build is good enough or you're ready for the next for the cosmic runs. So, and you, that's what you want to do. You want to pass cosmic trial because once you do, you unlock the cosmic portals, which I'll show you really kind of what it looks. So, for instance, the challenges you see here. There's no cosmic midtown, cosmic industrial, cosmic patrol. I'm gonna switch to one of my characters that. I have, com I have completed Cosmic Charl. I have my orders. See, that was the mid temperature Cosmic Industrial and so forth. What you want to do again is you want to pass Cosmic Charl. That's like the ultimate goal because once you unlock You're that, then you can do the I'm Cosmic Midtown, me. Cosmic Industrial City, for longer than most can comprehend. and Cosmic uh, High Town, and. I kid you not, that's where I got all my rare artifacts, is through the Cosmic 